The COVID numbers across the state continue to drop. The state is reporting 3,827 new cases over the past two days. That comes out to an average of about 1,900 cases a day. 112 new deaths are also being reported over that same time. So the trend in the seven day moving average though just keeps getting better for us. At the beginning of the month we were averaging 7100 cases a day. Well now we're below 2000 for the first time since September. The state also reporting a 59% decline in COVID hospitalizations. That's a big deal since mid January. The Detroit Arson Task Force is celebrating a bust involving an alleged serial arsonist. 30 year old Andrael Davis faces 10 counts of arson, including five felonies. Prosecutors say Davis set several fires in the Virginia Park neighborhood near the Herman Kiefer complex. Investigators say a surveillance operation led to officers arresting Davis after he allegedly was preparing to burn down a garage on Taylor Street. Our community deserves to live without fear of being a victim of a crime. And today and tonight, the residents of Virginia Park can sleep a lot easier knowing this suspect is off the streets. Investigators have linked Davis to several other fires in Detroit and Highland Park. He's currently being held at the Wayne County Jail. A confrontation between a Dollar General employee and a shoplifter turns into an armed robbery. We've got surveillance video for you this morning. You can't see the employee, but you can see this woman pulling out and pointing a gun right at the worker. Police say she uh, filled a shopping cart, walked out of the store without paying, and then threatened the worker who tried to stop her. A photo gives us a better look at the suspect here. She ran off with the merchandise from the store on East Seven Mile Road last Saturday evening. If you recognize her, you're asked to call Detroit police.